Right, hey guys, here we are. Number six. Gonna be taking a look at. So with a side wind, let me just turn this into a layup hole altogether. I don't think there's anything you're going to be able to do to get a side wind to that second fairway. So your next question will be, you know, do you want to go to the right fairway or do you want to go to the left fairway? So you'll see, especially with how much wind we have in the face. You know, another thing that you can do, try to keep your power up. So you'll see turkey ball here. And we can try to bend it over to this right hand side just to kind of shorten the hole a little bit. I'm thinking somewhere over here, six ish, seven rings, like that. You'll see I'm just trying to make an angle where I can go over to this right hand side and try to get this to, uh, you know, someplace consistent where I can just try to, you know, get it up into this last fairway here. Sometimes you can get it with these tricky winds just a little bit closer to the hole than what you can do by going to the left. So if you go to the left, you may just set yourself up to be just a little bit farther. You're probably gonna need to go for, more times than not, a hop shot off that third fairway into the last fairway, or second fairway into the third fairway, I should say, as opposed to being able to, you know, reach up into here. Uh, it'd be tough to know. You know, you may be able to extend And do some kind of curl shot be able to pull that off just kind of hard to know for sure you'll see with what I'm doing cat six here thinking pretty close to max ring adjustment I'm gonna go five rings to be on the safe side make sure that you add no power perfect ball and max curl of course you gotta really get this over here and you can see I was with my setup, I was also cheating kind of the right edge. I was trying to make sure that I wasn't going for the most open area. I was kind of going just a little bit shorter so I can aim just a little bit more right because I don't have as much of that side spin. What it's gonna allow you to do is to play a little bit less wind effect. So you'll see that we won't need to do quite near as much wind effect this way. By the closer that you can get the ball to the hole, the easier the approach is going to be. So that's what you need to be thinking about. Because when you can get it up here and play less wind effect, it makes it more holdable. I guess ideally what you'd probably want is maybe Min Club B52 as opposed to Max Club Thorn. You can see that it looks like I'm in Max Club Thorn here. I'm going to kind of set up here. Max Club Thorn is going to be kind of a challenging one to make. You're going to have to still play kind of a, a significant amount of wind effect. So I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 1.5-ish per ring, maybe even a little bit more, six rings, something. It's almost seven rings here. 
So extra is for the wind effect that I need to play. Ah, the great ball is going to make it lean. It's definitely going to be off to the right. I might not have even gone enough rings. I might have been a half a ring light there, even with that adjustment. So keep that in mind. You can see with what I'm doing with the backspin. As I mentioned, if you kind of keep it maybe at min club B52, it may just be just a little bit easier to dial in because you'll have less wind effect to play. So min club long iron is going to have less wind effect than max club short iron because the ball flights are going to be lower, lower trajectory. So that is something to be thinking about. Um, but you might want to know how to dial in both shots, you know, get ring adjustment numbers for both just in case. So you never know where that's going to fall. And, um, you know, if you can't get it up to thorn each and every time, you'll have to know both shots and have an understanding of which to pull out. So. Good luck there and see you on 7 coming home.